Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Anime Studio Pro allows us to import several different types of files into our Anime Studio documents. On top of that, the software has built-in files that you can import, edit, and animate if you wish. To get started, we'll need to access the Import menu. So take your mouse and go to File, Import, and at the top here we have the preset files. 3D, audio, characters, effects, images, props, scenes, and video. Let's import a 3D object first. So if we go up here to 3D and go to Props, you can see we have some objects to pick from. I'll choose Phone Booth. You can see an object has been brought into the software, and on the Layers panel you can see that it is indeed an OBJ file. On top of that, if you take your camera tools and pan around, you can see that it is indeed a 3D object. I'll just get rid of this and go back to my Import menu. There are preset audio files we can choose from, so for instance sound effects. We can click on clicking and choose a clicking sound. You can see it's been imported into my layers panel. There's an indication of it on the timeline. And if I click the play button, we can hear it play out. Going back to the import menu, we have access to characters, most of which come ready to be animated. So if you're looking for a new character design and you really don't want to draw one, you can choose some of the characters here. There's also effects, so if I go to the categories here and go to particle effects, I can choose an explosion. And as you can see, we have an explosion on screen, and if I page through the timeline, I can animate that out. Going back to the import menu, I can also import preset images from the software. There's also props, which are similar to characters. They're basically objects you can import into your scenery if you wish. You have scenes, which are basically drawn out scenes, and there's both animated and static scenes. So if I click on animated and choose that's all, you can see that there is an animation here for basically an old time cartoon when we have a circle closing in and shutting out the cartoon to black. So there's just some simple animations there you can choose from if you wish. And I can just close out of this. And now one more time, going back here to the import menu, the last of the items for the preset files is video. You can choose different video files to import into the software. Now moving on to the bottom part of the menu, we have Anime Studio Object, Image, Movie, Vector File, Tracing Image, Audio File, OBJ 3D Model, and Poser Scene. Anime Studio Object allows us to import objects from our Anime Studio documents. So as you can see, I have a document right here. I can click and choose Open. Now I have access to all the main layers in that project file. So I can choose a character or an object and click OK. And then bring that character or object into the scene. Next, going back to the import menu, we have images. You can import many different types of images, such as JPEGs. You can even import Photoshop files. I'll just choose a JPEG for right now and click open. And as you can see, there is an image now placed on my canvas. Just know that you can edit images like you can vector files in Anime Studio. There are video files we can import. So here is a QuickTime movie video file. I'll just choose to open. And you can see now it is on my timeline and I can just page through and play it. I'll just close out of this. And now we have vector files. If you have created a vector file in a different piece of software, such as Adobe Illustrator, you can import those into Anime Studio. So if you have an SVG file, an Adobe Illustrator file, 
or an EPS file, you can bring these files in and edit them as if they were drawn in Anime Studio. So I'll choose SVG file and click on this one and hit open. As you can see, that vector file document has been brought into Anime Studio. And if I zoom in here, I can see that it's made up of a bunch of vector shapes. And if I grab my translate points tool, I can even edit these shapes as if they were drawn in the software. Going back to our import menu, we have the ability to import a tracing image, which basically imports an image in a transparent way so that we can easily draw over the image and trace it. And now going back to the import menu once again, we can choose to import external audio files. So I have an MP3 file right here I can just bring in. And then if you hit play, you can hear it play out. Finally, you have the ability to import 3D files. OBJ 3D models and poser scenes. OBJ is a certain file extension used when creating 3D models. Poser scenes are from Smith Micro's 3D modeling software called Poser. You can essentially bring in the project files as if you could bring in an Anime Studio project file. For this demonstration, I'll choose the OBJ 3D model And then click my stairs obj file and click open. And as you can see, I have a 3D model of some stairs. And if I take my camera, you can see I can pan around and, and show that off. Importing poser scenes works similar. And that is how you import files into Anime Studio Pro. If you have more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys, I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so keep an eye out for those, and I'll see you next time.